I'm sitting in for Sister Carol for the month of August. This week, we're on Lesson 2 of a four-week unit on the life of Joseph. Do you know what's so amazing about the life of Joseph? In his life, we see the truth of God's Word, that God is with us no matter where we go. So to get us started this morning, we're going to sing a praise song. No matter where you are, let's stand up and let's sing, God is so good. We're going to be singing this morning with Favor, Divine, and Daniel. My name is Og Divine Boy. My name is Og Daniel Chigboy. My name is Og Favor Chigboy. The title of our song is God is So Good. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. God answers prayers. God answers prayers. God answers prayers. Prayer. He's so good to me. He cares for me. He cares for me. He cares for me. He's so good to me. I love him so, I love him so, I love him so, he's so good to me. I'll praise his name, I'll praise his name, I'll praise his name, he's so good to me. God is so good, God Joseph received a very 
special gift from his father. Does anybody remember what his father gave him as a gift? Yeah, a harmonica. No, uh, 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 a unicorn. No, uh, 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 a goat. No, he didn't get a unicorn or a goat. He got a brand new coat. And that coat was many, many colors. And, um, yeah, that brand new coat and the special dream that God gave Joseph made his brothers feel really jealous. Do you guys remember the jealousy monster? Remember that? Yeah, and they were so jealous that they did something terrible to Joseph. Can you remember what it was? What did they do to Joseph? Well, they threw him down a well. That's right, and then they sold him to Egypt as a slave. And so that's where our story begins today. We're gonna begin with Joseph on his way to Egypt. So here's Joseph on his way to Egypt being sold as a slave. Now when he arrived in Joseph, a very wealthy man named Potiphar bought him. All right, can you say Potiphar? It's kind of a funny name, let me hear you. Potiphar. Potiphar. There you go, Potiphar. And when um, Joseph went to work for Potiphar, God was with Joseph. And everything that Joseph did prospered. God caused Joseph to prosper. Every time he did something, it turned out well. All right? In fact, he did such a good job for Potiphar that Potiphar made him the overseer of his entire estate. That meant that Joseph was the big boss. The only one higher than Joseph was Potiphar himself. Now, Potiphar had a wife. And she wasn't a very nice lady at all. In fact, she tried to get Joseph to do something very, very wrong. But again, God was with Joseph, and he told her, no way, I'm not going to do that. In fact, she kept on so much that Joseph finally just had to run away. He had to run away from her. And that's a really great piece of advice when you're facing something that you're not supposed to do. If you can't resist the temptation, then just run away. Get away from that as quick as you can. And that's what Joseph did. He ran away from Potiphar's wife so that he wouldn't do anything that would upset God. Well, Potiphar's wife was pretty angry about that. And so she told a big old lie to her husband Potiphar. And it made Potiphar so angry that he threw Joseph in jail. Now, had Joseph done anything wrong? No, he hadn't done anything wrong. In fact, he had done everything right, and yet still he got thrown in prison. It wasn't very fair, but even in prison, God was with Joseph. In fact, again, God was with Joseph so much that everything Joseph did prospered. And so Joseph was made the big boss of the whole entire prison. Everyone in the prison was under Joseph's command. And there were two men in the prison at the same time as Joseph. These men had once worked for the big king. His name is Pharaoh. Can you say Pharaoh? Pharaoh. Yeah, Pharaoh. He's the big king of Egypt. And these guys had upset the Pharaoh, and so they were in prison. Well, one night, as they were, as they were sleeping... Both of them had some very strange dreams. And when they woke up the next day, they were so upset by their dreams that when Joseph saw them, he said, Hey guys, why are you so sad? What in the world happened? And so they began to tell him the dreams. And they said, Well, listen, we had these dreams and they really upset us, but no one can tell us what they mean. And Joseph said, Of course not, because only God can interpret dreams. And so God said, or Joseph said, we'll ask God to see if he can help us understand the dreams. Well, the first man used to hold the cup for Pharaoh. And when he explained his dreams, God gave Joseph the interpretation. And so Joseph told him, this is what your dream means. In three days, let me hear you say three days. Three days. That's right. In three days, you're going to get your old job back. Pharaoh's going to call you back, and you're going to go to the palace, and you're going to serve him once again. That was pretty good news. And so Joseph said, hey, by the way, I'm here in prison for something I didn't do. So when you go back and you see Pharaoh, why don't you tell him about him? And maybe he'll let me out. Well, that sounded like a pretty good dream. So the next guy, he used to bake bread for Pharaoh. 
And so he told Joseph his dream, and God once again was with Joseph and gave him the interpretation. His dream, it wasn't so good. It meant that in three days, the baker, he was going to get out of prison, but he was going to die. That was a pretty bad dream. Well, in three days, just like God predicted through Joseph, it happened. The cup holder went back to the palace and served Pharaoh, and the baker died. But the cup holder forgot all about Joseph once he got back to, uh, back to Pharaoh. And so that was pretty sad for Joseph. So that's where our story ends this week. And we kind of leave Joseph once again in the prison just waiting to see what God's going to do. Now, Slap Puppet, what do you think about our story today? I know you like stories. Did you enjoy today's story? Terrible! That's a terrible story! A terrible story? Wow, why? Why didn't you like our story? Because Joseph is such a nice guy who keeps making all these right decisions. But still bad things happen to him. And the good guy like Joseph ends up in prison then. Then I'm doomed. Oh, Sock Puppet. Yeah, Joseph is a really nice guy. But just wait a minute. Before you give up all hope, let me show you something. Alright, I... Look at here. I've got a red balloon. You see my one there? Yeah, let me show you something. kids, we're getting ready to work on our memory verse now. Our memory verse for this unit can be found in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. It says, the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Now, we're going to say that a few times and every time we say it, we're going to remove a few words. Here we go. All right, let's try it now. One, two, three. The Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. All right, that was pretty good. Let's delete a few more words. Okay, here we go. Say it with me on the count of three. One, two, three. The Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Nine. All right. Excellent. It's getting harder. Okay. Let's see if you can say it one more time. 
Here we go. One, two, three. The Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Excellent job, guys. All right, here we go. Last time. One, two, three. The Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. All right, if you were able to say that with me, congratulations to you. We're going to keep working on this for the next two weeks so that at the end of our unit, you will certainly know that just like Joseph, God is with you wherever you go. All right, families, now it's time to get creative. We've got a couple of activities this week for you. The first one is my God is with me book. And this is probably my favorite one because it's a chance for the little ones to really apply scripture to their life. They get to illustrate a couple of different places where God is with them in the day and in the night and be reminded that no matter where they go, God is with them. We also have a Joseph in the jail craft. And so instructions for uh, completing this activity will be found down in the description. And we've got lots of sheets of activities. So we've got to spot the difference. This could be good for your younger ones, but also a little bit older as it is a little challenging. And uh, Joseph in prison color sheet. And then especially for your older ones, a word finding crossword puzzles. And links to all those PDFs can be found down in the description. So you can find it down there. As far as activities for this week go, some games to play as a family. Uh, the first one we have is a matching game. All these images are um, reflective of Joseph in Egypt, and so you're going to want to print off two copies of this, cut it up, and play it like your classic memory game. Put it face down and look for matches. You'll see who has the best memory in the family. All right, and the last game I have for you is the Find the Joseph game. So if you made this Joseph last week, or you can use anything you have on hand to find any object you want to represent Joseph, Someone is going to hide him in the room, and then the others are going to look and see if they can find Joseph. And I want you to emphasize that no matter where Joseph went, God was with him and working for his good. And you can play it using clues, or you can play it like hotter, colder, when people are getting close. Play it however you want. But the point is, as a family, get together, have some fun, and celebrate that we can know that our God is with us no matter where we go. All right, thanks CIPC kids for stopping by. We hope you'll join us again next week to continue our study of the life of Joseph. As we go this week, I want to close us in prayer. Lord Jesus, we just thank you so much for all of our CIPC kids and all the kids and families that are tuning in through this channel. Father, we just pray protection over their life. And Father, I pray that you would just help them make good decisions even when it's hard. Would you just cause us to understand that you are with us no matter where we go, and may we trust in your goodness. We thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right, guys. Have a great week.